Hello everyone, and welcome back to the second episode of my Thronecraft Let's Play. A Let's Play where I play on my Game of Thrones inspired Minecraft server. Now, you may be wondering why I'm in a very different location than where we ended off last time. That's for a pretty good reason. I got run out of my old home. So if we go and look on the map, you'll see that we are no longer on this island over here. But the island has a lot of houses and buildings on it, and it's pretty much a full-grown colony at the moment. You can see there's even been a little bit of a war surrounding it, as the people with the dragons um, have tried to burn the edges of it, but haven't gotten close enough to the center. Um, so that's them over there. I logged on one day, and they pretty much took over the island, and there was nothing I could do to stop them at the moment. There was about five of them, and I had nothing. But if we look over here, this is where we are now, and I think it's a pretty cool position. Basically, it's pretty close to the sea, so we have direct access to the ocean, and we can put ships on here and sail them across Westeros to different um, rivers. And we also have this really cool massive mountain range, I believe this way, that's pretty much a natural barrier from the rest of Westeros. It's really cool. So if we look, yeah, right here, we have this massive, massive mountain range right here. Um, and my plans are pretty much we're going to build a civilization down here and all of our fortifications are going to be up there to pretty much block anyone from disrupting this empire and of course we're not going to let them take in our home slide we are eventually going to take back that island but first we really need to start working on our own empire let me kill this witch over here and let's see if i can not die in the process this witch does not know how to fight very well has it there you go Ooh, potion of healing perfect let me get some food as well Ooh, floating cow. Okay. There we go. Thank you. Ooh, sheep. I need one more white piece of wool to make perfect, to make my bed. Okay, so I did travel all the way over here. I found this place on the map. I had actually started recording, but the footage is corrupted. So this is as far as I got. Um, so yeah, but that's okay. We have a bunch of charcoal, and we're pretty much setting up this little base, and we're in the process of making ourselves a supply ship to start our own colony. We're just, I, this is our little starter base right here. It's not much, um, but we're in the process of making our own colony um, so we can start protecting this land and not have that happen again where our home is taken away. So in order to do that, we need to make a supply ship and we need a bunch of boats. We need five boats as such. How many do I have? I have four, okay. We need just a few more. One more. Perfect. Ignore this. That is not supposed to be in my inventory. That was from when I was creating the nether mine. Oopsies. Okay, you didn't see that. Nobody saw that. Um, if you don't know, we have a brand new nether area on the server because the nether is not enabled on the server. So I actually created um, a brand new area that allows players to get the resources from the nether such as blaze rods, wither skulls, all that good stuff um, pretty simply. Um, it's pretty, quite nice and as we can see we can now make a supply chest. The way I did that by the way is when you can hover over it you can do shift and click the plus button and it'll transport everything into the uh, furnace. So let's go place down our ship and get our town hall so we can get started. We'll put it somewhere over here pretty shallow over here which is nice <laughs> um, wonder if anyone's been around here and dug up that sand hope not hope this is a pretty secluded area there's been a lot of activity on the server it's in the middle of the day so there's not much people on right now but over the last few days um, it grew almost exponentially over the weekend pretty much doubled um, our population um, and there's been a lot of people on and they seem to be having a lot of fun there's two main groups on the server now um, so we'll just place our boat down there um, and yeah they, they seem to be having a lot of fun and one of the groups is now based on my old home so we will eventually have to take them out but we have a while to go before we get there but that's okay um, so this is just a ship the main thing we're looking for 
is right here. Yes, we need the town hall and the building tool. That's the two main things. And now we have a little ship. We'll decorate those. We might even add some cannons to it. Um, this isn't going to be a sailing ship or whatever. This is incredibly inefficient for that. Um, but yes. So let's let's go back over. This is a really nice area. I love access to the water. Um, and yeah, I love the mountains. I think we can make some really cool structures in them. Um, and yeah, we'll definitely put a fort on top. Lots of siege weapons and whatnot to keep people away. And yeah, um, I'm excited to see how this builds up. Lots of animals, which is really nice. Could use lots of food. We're going to need to start a farm pretty soon. Um, I think this is a good spot for our town hall. So we're kind of just going to put it there. And this is from before. So I'm just going to delete that. Um, <laughs> maybe. There we go. Use build tool. Let's see. Okay, so this is, that's that. We need to put that down. This is a supply camp I want. This is not what I'm looking for. This is, why is it not giving me the town hall? Use build tool. This is interesting. I'm just gonna say hello to one of my players and then I'm gonna quickly log out to see what the issue is. Disconnect and we'll just try joining back the game because that works for most tech problems is just leaving and coming back turning it on and off so it's weird i placed down the ship so i might still be thinking about that um but let's use the build tool huh that's not supposed to happen hmm okay <laughs> that's not good let's just do place anyways and we can move this later if need be place anyway town hall perfect um yeah so now people will start spawning there hopefully hopefully we can get some um, let's see do we have any citizens at the moment nope we have no citizens good so they will actually start spawning right now um, and we can see there's a bunch of stuff in here I'll go over pretty much through this entire let's play um, but a lot of these things I've never done before um, so yeah but while that's doing that I've set my home over in our little tiny hidey hut over here. Um, well, let's do that. Let's go get some um, resources because we desperately need them. Warps, warp donor mine. Okay, I didn't know. what did I put before? Ah, I see. Okay, so this is the donor mine. This is the mine you get access to if you donate to the server. It's just a little perk. All these items are still available in vanilla, but this is quite a nice advantage. Um, if you donate to the server and since i pay for the server monthly i think i can qualify so really we're just looking for the iron right now um, and some coal as well would be very nice coal iron simple stuff and then we'll come back later and start actually harvesting a lot of these resources for our use you can donate to the server and in the link in the description you don't need to there's no no need to it's just something if you appreciate playing and you want to get some perks on the server um, then consider donating. I think the cheapest rank is like two bucks and you can get access to here. Um, but it just helps the server maintain itself. I pay for it monthly. Um, it is a cost to keep running um, and maintain. And it also takes time out of my day to manage. But um, all the profits are going towards my game development studio. Um, I want to create my own games. So if you donate, um, any profits the server makes in a month last month we actually made a two dollar profit so I will have two dollars in my account to help with game development and that will basically be buying assets um, but other than that that looks like we have enough stuff for now so I'm just gonna go back to my home new base um, and wait for there is our first settler two settlers perfect Okay, we need to protect them so that they don't die. We're not trying to have that happen. Um, and let's just start this stuff cooking. Um, we're going to want to start a builder hut pretty quickly. Yeah. Um, as you can see, the vanilla food does almost nothing. Um, that's because we have Pam's Harvest Craft installed. And because of that, um, vanilla food is pretty much worthless. 
because Harvest Craft is a complicated mod, and if vanilla food was still worthwhile, no one would have the incentive to try and get all the new cool items that it adds. So I'm actually going to try and go to sleep, and we'll see if the other player will go to sleep as well. Okay, maybe he's not. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to give up on that. Looks like we will be doing night. Um, let's make our little builder hut first. Uh, because we need the builder hut in order to start building anything else. So this is what we need right here. So we need the building tool, some wood, and a door. And I think we have all of that except the wood. Oh great, now it's also raining. That's wonderful. Oh boy. Yeah. Disgusting. <laughs> Lightning too. I really like these trees, how they're like rooted into the ground. That's cool. That's cool. And that's non mod. That was our custom builder, did that for us. Um, so, really appreciate that. Let's see. Okay, so basically, mine colonies is a lot of these structures that you make, as you see the town hall over there was like this. Um, and basically, they you put them down, and then these people will actually build it for you. So, let's go up until one of these flat places. And put it down yeah we can put it down right here and let's see use build tool that's n not helpful that is not what we're trying to do um oh crap use build tool okay i don't know why it's doing that um that's very interesting so it looks like i'm gonna try my colony stuff in a different episode um because that's not working we got our four initial settlers uh, but we will try to continue with that next episode. I don't quite know how long this has been so far. I really should start setting up a timer, but it's probably been about 15 minutes. But what we will work on is getting supplies to start our forge. Um, and I'm actually supposed to get a book to start out with, but because there's been so many things. Um, the book is um, Materials and You. You actually get this book just by spawning in, so that's why I went into creative. It's not anything that, like, you can't get usually. Um, don't worry about that. So, yes, this is this is materials in you, and it pretty much describes everything you need to start a forge. So, I pretty much know everything in here, but we're going... Uh-oh. Did someone die? No. No, someone must have died. That's so sad. Um, so yeah, we're going to start our forge by getting some resources. We need a lot of clay, a lot of gravel, and a lot of sand. So let's just make our shovel, because an iron shovel will definitely be worth it for clay sand. We have a lot of sand nearby, which is really nice. We seem to have a lot of gravel. I'm wondering if there's a lot of gravel in those hills. Ow. Um, but let's also see... Wait, do we actually have? Oh, no, they're just exploring. Okay. Uh, let's see if there's any clay out here. That's the problem with uh, a custom world. I don't know where the resources are, um, which could be an issue in the future. Um, but I know there's some down rivers and stuff, so I might have to go there to do it. It looks like over here, though, there's a nice rocky area. And we'll have to make sure we like cover all of this up so that anyone who wants to get in here has to go through the mountain pass um, that will be heavily, heavily defended uh, by our troops and siege weapons. Okay, so there, there's a decent amount of gravel, but no, like, patches of it. I really like just exploring this custom map. It's a lot of fun. Let's see. Seems to be a decent patch of gravel right here where we can pick some up. We need, when I say a lot, we need a very decent amount of this stuff. Because um, we need a lot of what's called grout. Ah, oh, thanks. One time I don't want flint. Um, we need a lot of grout. Actually, we can just do slash TPR and see where we get located. And see, see we can pick up some gravel right here. There should be, wherever we go, there's most likely a river somewhere nearby. Look at that. 
It's either the river or the ocean, some other body of water where clay can be found. I've seen it before. Saw it when I was trying to get to the island home. That is no longer our home, sadly. But it does look like there's some clay over there, which is very nice. Yes. Yes. I think that's clay. That looks like clay. I hope it's clay. No. Yes. Yes, it is. It looked like sand for a second. Okay, perfect. This is what we want. So basically, we combine sand, clay, and gravel together to get what's called grout. We smelt grout and we can make bricks, and bricks is what we use to make our forge. Uh, let's just get a bunch of this, and then I think I'm probably going to end the episode back at our base. I'm going to try and get four stacks of this stuff um, to make a full stack of regular clay because if you create um, using uh, clay balls instead of clay blocks it's less efficient so if we make a bunch of clay blocks it's much more efficient efficient to make grout um, so we're, we're just gonna mine all this up here easy peasy lemon squeezy as you can see players um, he's he's building a cool colony I've seen it I visited it it's a lot of fun um, oh and some news about the server before I finish off the episode so I've decided that we are never going to reset the server unless something incredibly bad happens we update to a new version whatever it might be but save massive circumstance somewhere we are not going to reset the server which means it's going to have a continuous history and I thought a pretty cool thing to do would be once every month we're going to have kind of a history book of Thronecraft and I'm gonna start it this summer and you can or every player can get like a book from spawn and we actually have everything so we can go back home um, we're and it pretty much like details like what settlements were made what happened during this time um, some cool things like this time we'll detail the two main settlements that were founded um, the owners of them can put their names in it whatnot and then we can talk about the search for the two dragon eggs and the tombs they were found in and that type of stuff um, and I think that would be pretty cool I like the idea of having a continuous world it allows like to create history and whatnot um, so yeah I'm excited for that so we got our stack of clay um, as we can see we need grout it's called this is it right here and this is what we're trying to make here as you can see for one piece you get two so it's actually about the same but this is a much quicker way to make it um, so this is what we're going to continue in the next episode we're going to try to fix mine colonies in the next episode uh, luckily our settlers kind of just respawn so not much need for that um, especially since they don't have any cool characteristics at the moment and then We'll go to the desert or something, not here, to harvest our sand and then find some gravel as well and start creating our forge and our empire. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Bye.